Alright, so we are going to try to learn Raven today, guys. With every champion we learn, they get a little bit harder. Is it hot or is it just me? Oh, that's cute. She's cute. Oh, you have you have an okay Cupid profile? <laughs> oh, is it well written? You should get you should read mine if you need uh, tips. I'm really good. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you, hey, you come over here and tell them. Hey, so my roommate's got a really funny story for you guys. If you guys are paying attention, you're gonna really enjoy this. Okay, so you guys want to hear something funny? Okay, I'm James. I'm the radio guy. I'm Leland's roommate. Check this out. So, uh, I don't care if they can see me. So uh, what happens is uh, I do stand-up comedy for fun, right? So I go and uh, I host this one show. I perform for about a good, like eight, nine minutes. And uh, I take these two really attractive women home with me, and we're going to have a threesome, right? So we get home, and, uh, you know, we're having a couple of drinks. Things are starting to warm up a little bit. You know, we're getting in the mood. And then this motherfucker, this guy comes home. One of the girls, the hot one, uh, the hotter one, uh, recognizes him from an OkCupid profile and a conversation they had like a year ago. So then they start talking, and then the other girl sees that the other girl's getting attention from this guy, and she starts fawning over him too. So now I'm the guy that did the show. I just performed. I bought a bunch of food and drinks for these girls, and I brought them home and got them more liquor. Yet somehow I'm now the fourth wheel of my own threesome. How is this happening? I don't get it. But it gets better. Check this out. All he's doing this entire time to make them fawn over him is talking about League of Legends. That is the only thing he's talking about. Until finally, both these girls are now kind of drunk. They go in the bathroom and argue over who gets dibs on this motherfucker. And even better, eventually they both start fighting with each other, and then they go home angry, and nobody got laid. And the final part of this story, I go uh, to bed about an hour later, and this guy walks in with this dumbfounded look on his face, like he just, like the light bulb just clicked on. And he's like, hey, sorry for cock-blocking you twice. I'm not even mad, it's just a fun story to tell. Anyway, you guys have fun. Saboteur. Fair enough. I should probably upload that right there to YouTube. Do you have a Do you have a Facebook page yet? There is potential in what you just did on Reddit. <laughs> no, just people commenting shit. Somebody uh 